go. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Benny Ben representing the Mighty Super Kings, Legend of Rivers. You know what I mean? Right now, we had today my expansion workshop at Buku. This is where, you know, we just kind of like try to help out the community in the Chicago, Illinois area. Um, just basically, you know, teaching what I've learned from like the pioneers of the dance, you know. And I'm just trying to just, I'm like a, like a messenger trying to, you know, whatever I learned from them, I'm trying to teach to the next generation of the upcoming B boys and B girls. So that they can develop their own, you know, their own character, their own style, and just have fun with it. You know what I mean? So I just want to say shout out to Buku, shout out to the Phase Two family, you know, uh, Wicked, and everyone who, everyone who helped make this workshop possible. Thank you, and keep doing your thing. Peace. Everyone's a student, right? I'm a student. You're a student. Like, just don't. Don't just learn from one person. Like, learn from me, whoever. Came out wicked, crazy legs. Daryl, this is the thing, like, our generation is lucky because everything, all the pioneers are still alive. You know? Just go to New York and meet them. You know what I mean? Or think about our kids, our next generation. When they grow up, they're never going to, all they're going to see about all the pioneers is going to be through videos and books. You know what I mean? So, we have that opportunity, the advantage to just go, you know, just go to New York. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Take advantage of the opportunity to wriggle. Yeah. Because <laughs> the wriggle's gonna be, right? Yeah. You might, next one, you're gonna be, why not, and wriggles. We'll come with these. That's gonna be a whole thing, right? Yeah. Take as many more times. The idea is to, is to bring the city up, man. Take this right. to the national and be like, yo. Like, you know, giant, I, I told him about a giant robot. Okay? Like, yeah. robots sell nice things, too. Um, yeah, there's a lot of. Don't, lot like, this mentality, you? okay? Yeah. Like, nice. one more thing. Like, a lot, I see a lot of people is be like, you know, fuck that, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> at that, you know, like, I don't want to learn from him, but like, that shouldn't, that, you always have to be in a learning state of mind, you know? Be the best, the best people, the hum, most humble people are the best people. Right. Always, always ask now, a question. I mean, you name it from, like, Alino, to Levine, to Cloud, to Michael, 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 uh, I'm still learning. Can you tell me that I'm learning? Each one, each one. Yeah. yeah. That's basically it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for my workshop. Like, take whatever you can, you know. Um, as long as it doesn't right. matter. It's not important that you remember, try to remember everything you learn. It's just take whatever you can from it and, you know, build up and develop your own. Develop your own style, right? It's that fun. First and foremost, you know, he showed you guys how to move today, how to, like, get those cases, you know, steps out there, baby. Do them. Do them. Go home and do them. Don't forget them. Yeah, you can't do them. And eventually you'll start looking like your own. You know, have twists and turns and bends and drops to those moves and concepts. Oh, one more one thing. One more picture. One, like tradition, we have to take a picture. One last thing. About just dancing. <laughs> when I went to New York, someone told me, like, you know, like, teach, I said, teach me how to dance. From Mastermind Markets, Brooklyn, you know, original market. And he said, dance, but don't move your feet. So I'm like, what? Because I'm so used to, you know, doing this, right? As a people. So. When I did that, like, he showed me how to get down. Everything starts from here. Challenge yourself. Yeah, huh? you don't have enough hands up here. Going down, you know, but, you know, so. Yeah, and you challenge yourself on your upper body how to dance, because it's easy to do this. It's all about this. You don't even have the legs, it's just makes it. Keep doing it. The more and more you do it. When I first started doing it, I was like, I feel kind of goofy, but after a while, I just like, oh, I look wrong. <laughs> That's it, bro. Thank you for coming. Let's take a picture on the other side. Take a picture. All right, so I'm starting to work out right now. So, uh, the way we're going to do it is I'm just going to like stand up right here and then kind of demonstrate what I need to do. So, find the spot, into the space. First of all, I want to start off with like why we dance, right? Why we break. And there's a lot of reasons that actually that we make you want to break. And we are, my, my opinion, like most important thing that motivates you should be the music. Right? The music is what gives us the idea of motivation and everything. And I know there's 
a lot of people like, like, kind of ask the question, like, I want to be like better, but I want to to be better, like, and I, I say that too, like, I want to be better, be more, like, be better. I'm just going to teach you like the basics of how to get into the rhythm. Uh, it's kind of, like, I, I know a lot of people, a lot of you already have the rhythm, you know, the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm. Basically, I'm going to say, uh, the music that we listen to, uh, funk, which is the genre, you know, the genre in the 70s, it came out 60s, it came out. Basically, it follows the rule of uh, four counts. Everything, everything happens within the four, uh, four counts. So, one, two, three, four. And what, we, what the B boys listen to is the snare drum, basically. You guys know what the snare drum is? Right? So, basically, two on the four, that's what it is. One, two, three, four, right? So that's what we're going to call it. Two on the four, for everything you do. Top, top, four, top, top, three, 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 three. So, let's try. We're going to start from the beginning of like breaking when they first started. This is basically what they did, you know, there was, there was people with parties, you know, they had a beer in their hand, and all they did was like, regular, you know, put the bomb on top, the bomb on top, the regular two-step, and that's how basically everything started from here, it came, it came into this, stuff or whatever you call it, so, start up, just, I think it's all, it's follow, you know, it's follow my steps, and we'll start from there, right. And also, I'm going to play, like, really slow music. And I'll I'll explain why um, why that is, but here, here we go. Yeah, 
we missed up. So let's try the shuffle first. Uh, you don't know. Then at the same time, my arm is swinging. Like this. this is really important. It's really important. One more time. One more time. So when you switch to the music, you will do it. Two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So. So, what's really important for this tip is make sure your arm always swinging back and forth. Always. Is it that twist motion? Right here. Because you can have your arm right here. Hard to do it. Always be conscious of where your arm is. Then the third step we're going to do is the collar button. Basically, hands and foot, right? And you just go at first you go like this. Stand it up. So just get used to this motion and I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. Once you get that down. A lot of this stuff is like a lot of James Brown did a lot of these, you know, from the shadow box and dancing. So first thing is you step kind of like the Indian step, you step and you put Getting, just getting used to the four beats. Here we go. I 
cool, cool, cool. So from here, so now that we know the basic three steps in top rock, people ask me like, how do you get better in top rock? Basically, all it is is the different concepts, messing around, messing around with different concepts. So first of all, first thing that, one of the first things that I learned was like, dead man, basically one thing, 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 one
Can I give you like an example of what we, what we did? So if you combine all the things that we just learned, you can just do like... I think 
go down with another, another like off work and bring it to my style and this is the same song about going on. So we'll be the basics. So no problem with this. Three, and set it up. 
Uh, one thing about the new drum is you're never, it looks, even though it looks like I'm going to the front, you really want to first. That's really good. And it's just the way you place the body, it looks like you're going to the front.
when I first saw this, like, cool, but it's very cool. It's like, like, I love it's not very cool. A lot of not cool, that's what we're to do. We have a lot of great guys to do that. Some of the best players on the team, like, Redford, uh, Lewis, Warren, the rest of my guests, Mauricio. So, basically, when you call me, like, the first thing you know is the music, right? But, you gotta have that. Alright, we'll take like a three break. Yeah, like the water. So 
the only reason I had to step into the uh, circle or the uh, area is this. So, the way you come in. Right, and you do your, you do my power, whatever you do. Is this one? So, every, from beginning to end, so whenever you, let's say you do a uh, flip pad, don't just do like, Start from here. Always make start from top up. And then do the flare. Do it in the flash. Move and I'll zip it up. And then, like, you grab it from the main end. Whatever you do, it's going to be like a practice method. Yeah. Okay. Like, this one. Like, so, the minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a little bit more. So let's try that. Do you move whatever you do? Like, I don't know what you guys do, like, do a piece and talk a little bit. And then try to practice the way you go back in. So, I'm going to do the same thing. Like, 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 I know you guys know too when you go back home, you know what I'm saying? That's how we should be going to dance too. Like, you're a real personality as well. When you do this with that, or like you're all angry, like, I know people said, you know, like, as a judge, like, you can tell if you're like, big, 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 yeah, let's try that. Have you ever wanted to come out once? Uh, oh, let's do it. Let's make a circle. Okay, circle. We'll just play the same music right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys want to come out once, but remember, the way you come out, and the way you come out, you're going to come out the middle part, but I'm going to come out. When you're in the middle, I'm gonna do whatever you want. Right? Bring it, bring it in like a real There you go, there you go. Right? Yeah! Whatever you want, I'm gonna start if you got to.
call it? Gesture that you, that you do that kind of that smokes, you know, that basically it means burning, it means like you kind of smoke it or serve it or however you call it. Embarrass it, right? So it could be a little thing. Let's like say if I'm doing like a like take out my shopper, right? Put it back in. Um, anything could be left, like a burden. So it's a lot of hand movements, like take your knife in, right? Take it out, put it back in the pocket, you know, whatever you need. So there's a lot of burns, but it really comes from like gangs in the 60s. So, but you don't have to be aggressive. Can, let's say you do like chair free, and you know, like a stink, like you're holding on to your chair free.
But that's basically, you know, like a lot of drugs. A lot of drugs.